the Australia for worldwide marketing. Hit me up for a video for your company or your business, it's only three grand, and tell them Warwick Camp Accenture. Appearances, endorsements, we do the whole lot. So you a little video for your company, and just hit me up and smooch it. Number one pitch man in Australia. Warwick Camp goes boom, for smooch it. Oh my goodness. Here at the Oracle, just up at the pool enjoying. It's quite good. Bit the sun, did a few laps. What is there, mate? There's like a grassy spot over there. You want to go change? You want to go over there? Yeah, I already went over there. Good boy, love you. Ah. How's your bum? What? Shit, no. Show me if I can see your bum through there. He's worried if everyone can see his bum. He's alright. Told him nobody cares about his bum. I'm ready. What do you want to do? 50 seconds? Go. Yeah. Go. 21, he went in at 21. So let's see how long Jakey boy can stay in the water. I'm just trying to get this profile set up for Warwick, but he can't sign in with his email and create a password. He's got a problem. He's got a big problem. Lucky he's good looking promo guy. Oh my goodness. How's Jake going? We went in at 21. How are we doing with Smooch at the moment? Well, we got Warwick Kappa signed up. Just. Oh, there's pizzas. Oh, that looks good. Just, I, I'm, I'm making a little web show, so I was just going to do a behind the scenes thing here. So that was Jack. He's um, interested to get me out here to you can see the Mecca bar on a regular basis to do some magic. So. Maybe Friday, Saturday, or even Sunday. It's Sunday today. So we're looking forward to coming out here and doing a little bit. Kurt, is that a bit small? You liking that? <laughs> so I just wanted to take you for a little bit of a walk around, show you this venue, the spot here on Hope Island. As you can see, the restaurant there, the Mecca Bar, is full. So they're thinking of doing a little bit of an expansion down this way. I'll turn around so you can see. There's another restaurant down there and then they're thinking of doing an Italian restaurant there as well. So they're really looking to expand here. But yeah, it'll be um, a couple of hours a week paid. So that'd be good. Catch, oh, get lost dog, got him. Oh my goodness, I caught this dog. Oh, here we go. Hello, Rover. Thank you. You got away from mum, huh? Thank you so much. Here we go, look. Not really a dog guy, but... Oh, you got away from me. Oh, you got away from me. There you go. Oh, thank you, Lord. No worries. Let's see, what does he normally run off, does he? No, never. Just What's his name? Dolby. <laughs> Dolby. See you, Dolby. Thanks. All right, a bit of excitement there for today. Just caught a dog. Everyone, you can see there, still at the Broad Beach bungalow. Yeah, so it's been a pretty good weekend. Good to get Warwick signed up. Good to go out to the Mecca bar, looking for a bit of regular work. That could be really good for me. Um, and just kicking the tin along, basically. Like, um, I'm gonna meet up with Paul today and we're gonna talk a bit of business. He's uh, mentioned something about getting a place over at uh, Hope, not Hope Island, but Coomera. So it might be a place to boom from. That'd be good, close to the kids. Uh, a few things going on. Might go and see Adam. I mean, you know, Paul's sort of starting out again a little bit by the looks of it. Adam's entrepreneur. I've talked about him in a recent episode and I wanted to introduce you to him. He's got a place in Surface, an office in Surface that he booms out of. So I'm heading over to Paul's place and I'm going to see if, if Adam's available and we'll go over to Adam's office and 
have a bit of a powwow. Sound all right? All right, let's do it. Yo, yo, here we are in Surface Paradise and look, Adam, Paul, connected, on, connected them up. We're gonna go up to Adam's office and have a look around. Paul's, Paul's a good talker. <laughs> he talks, talks, talks. Oh my goodness. February, but I haven't started operating yet. Yeah. Pretty good setup. Yeah, that's, uh, almost looks like you're uh, gearing up for a call center. So we're all, um, you know, I'd, I'd like to say we're all slash entrepreneurs here. So it's good um, to get together and do a bit of brainstorming. It's de definitely want to have a chat to Paul, leverage off his knowledge. Paul's done everything over the years. What haven't you done, Paul? Well, no, I, I haven't been a gigolo. Uh, and I mean, there's a reason for that. <laughs> to people because of who? I mean, he was with uh, uh, Jordan Belford. I don't know if you ever saw that interview. Yeah, I did. But yeah. that, was, uh, that was a rip of math. Uh, you have old Jordan to wake up, Paul. So, mm. Paul, you're saying learning is key to everything, it doesn't matter where you're 100%. at. 100%. Never stop learning and never stop listening. They're, they're the two two uh, keys. And you're on a call with Grant Cardone, a bit of a live training session. Yes, mate, yeah, so it's going to be pretty interesting. And yeah, I see I'm Adam gonna... inside there on the wall. Whoa, he's got a bit of Grant Cardone, so you're into Grant Cardone as well. Yeah, he's, he's yeah. got like 700 million worth of real estate, oh, I think. Yeah, no, he believes real estate. Billions, isn't that? Yeah, oh, he's in just under really just real estate. Got, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's his personal thing, and but he's. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. got four companies. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, um, so you mentioned that you uh, provide training for telemarketers. Oh, I had that. Well, that yeah, was part that. of my role within uh, Legacom. Yeah, travel Legacom. Yeah. How long ago was that? Well, going back now, probably uh, seven, eight 50 years. Fifty years ago. No, seven, eight years. Yeah. Seven, eight years. Mm. Sorry, yeah, I'm being annoying. <laughs> the the, uh, the I always ask uh, this question to so sure. any telemarketer I ever meet or manager that like the team leader of telemarketers, whatever. And I'll, I'm just interested to hear their responses. Yeah, sure. So the, the biggest thing is um, when <clears throat> I tell Mark I call as a cop or like a yeah, random person, uh, as soon as they start talking, the person's like, I'm not interested. Uh, what would you uh, uh, teach your telemarketers to say uh, as soon as that happens? First thing is telemarketer must know their product. Approaching common ground with someone is the most important thing you can do first of all. So mm. instead of just sort of firing up with straight away, oh, hi, yeah, blah, 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 right? Um, ask the question, uh, oh, hello, hello, Mr. Jenkins or Mrs. Jenkins, how are you today? Lovely day, isn't it? Look, you're probably wondering who the bloody hell's on the other end of the phone. I'm a person going to present some great, uh, mm. great options here today. So I'm going to just sort of encroach on you and see if you've got two minutes of uh, your time because I tell you what, that two minutes that you give me, it's going to be very beneficial to you. Mm. Yeah. Take us through to the office and show yeah, us come, that um, come for a walk. vision board. Come for a walk in here, Paul. Yeah. Let's have a little look at it. Pretty cool office. Yeah, I've got my phone. We're in the founder's in office the here. He's got his phones here. Yeah, there you go. What's the map on the wall represent? So um, uh, I thought you would have had Dan Lockhart there as well, mate. It's, uh, yeah, it's a cork cool. board. Yeah. It's a cork board. So, uh, so this is going to be my business to business uh, uh, map. So all the um, places in Australia where I've got my business to business uh, set up, like yeah, all the real estate too. agencies yeah, and yeah, everything like yeah, that, yeah. I'm going to have the cork boards here. The other one out there is going to be where all my uh, staff are at. So all the uh, tradies, uh, where they are, yeah. uh, like uh, how many I've got in each town. So I know which towns I've got to work on getting more staff in. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's what they're going to write. So about the board, tradies, I'm yeah. interested in this board. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So this board, yeah, that's um, uh, Gary V. Uh, uh, he, I, I follow him uh, probably the most on a daily uh, uh, right now. Um, that's Ataturk. Uh, that's just places like where those uh, biggest companies Apple, have uh, yeah, started. Um, I've got a dream. Yeah. Martin Luther King. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, I, I love uh, uh, Sylvester Stallone's Adrian, story. Adrian. Yeah, I love his story, how he uh, started out. You know, yeah. Sylvester Stallone just said actually recently as a testimonial to Grant Cadone was that if I would have listened to Grant Cadone uh, earlier in my life, he said, I would have owned the franchise, not just worked as an actor in the movies. Yeah. He would have owned the franchise. <laughs> God, he's a real predator, that Grant uh, Cardone, yeah, isn't yeah. he? Love, um, you've got to respect him for yeah, it. Everyone loves the rivalry that yeah, uh, yeah. Tupac and uh, Biggie. Who's the antagonist there? Are they both like 
they're both at each uh, other. They're both the gangsters, huh? Yeah, he's like, yeah, I'm king. He's like, I'm cool. Anyway, yeah, this guy, you know, in and out of drug, in and out of um, prison, um, Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, and then yeah. He plays, uh, well, gets clean, plays a superhero, and becomes one of the most giving and respected men in Hollywood. Yeah. Nice. And I love him, mate. Yeah. And I love everything that uh, It's good to see you got my mate Donald Trump up there because I'm yeah. a big fan of him. And when I was in the hospital, I gave my brother and uh, my so called best mate, they told him $1,000, put him at 1600 to 1, and they laughed at me and said, Paul needs his head red. <laughs> that cost me a fortune. Yeah. Airbnb. Yeah. 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 Marketplace. I like how much they've changed. Oh, I love this story. So, uh, that's uh, Elon Musk, of course. Yeah. My proceeds from PayPal were 180 million. I put 100 million in SpaceX, 70 million in Tesla, and 10 million in Solar uh, City. I had to borrow rent for, uh, so I had to yeah. borrow money for rent. Oh, so my goodness. Crazy, you should live yeah. in your car, man. You had a Tesla, right? <laughs> um, yeah, and then uh, just one of my favorite quotes. Brian, I'm going to this guy. Our last What's one, the last, last one. one. It's hard changing in life. When you find something that you really want to do in life that's worth doing, uh, it's worth doing it badly until that you learn to do it greatly. That's it. Yeah, that's awesome. No, 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 uh, no harm in failing. It's just the next step to succeeding. Yeah. So it looks like you're all set up here, ready to go, mate. I won't show anything specific here, but you've got the whiteboards, got it all set up right in the middle of Surface Paradise. So yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll tune back in and see what's happening, uh, you know, next week, the week after. And yeah. Seven days and, and it should be operating. And you mentioned about uh, the tradies and the spots in that. So obviously you're going to be similar to like drawing a high page.